Yo, what's going on YouTube? Johnny Bass Times, as most of you my fishermen know. And uh, I got a review on a rod and reel. Shimano Sitica, the 200 G5, and Shimano Cellus for the new Fisher from a Budget series. Go ahead and stay tuned. All right, so just the basic specs of this rod and reel right here is, a new, is not a new reel at all, but it's the Shimano Sitica. And, uh, if I remember correctly, it came out around that time with uh, with the 287, the Corrado, and which is my overall favorite reel. But I always did want to try this out, but I'm just not actually getting back to it. So I got the 200, the G5 Sitica. So with that being, it is a 5-1 gear ratio, so it is a slower reel retrieve, but um, I, I like it a lot. You know, though it may be slower per one crank of a handle, one around, you're still moving from reel all the way to your first guide. So you're still getting a decent amount of speed out there. It's, you're, you're nowhere near burning, burning a bait. But for what I'm fishing this with, there's no need to. And then for the rod, Shimano Cellus 7 foot 2, the worm and jig rod. I wanted to try this uh, this combo out because it's a cheaper rod than reel. A combo you can go ahead and pick up at your Dick's, Academy's, Tackle Warehouse. All that good stuff. Well, together, the price itself, you're looking at around for the rod, $49.99 to $59.99, depending on your MSRP. Real, you're looking at about $80. So, altogether, I didn't go anywhere over maybe $140. From, I don't have the exact price in my head, but $140 for this altogether. I rigged it up with some 15 pound P line floor clear, one of my favorite lines I prefer to use. And uh, one thing I do recommend when it comes to your baits, as you can see, I had on a one ounce bullet weight. It's actually a magnetic one, so it stays close to my extra wide gap hook and a zipper worm. Excuse me, it's actually a lizard, but yeah, I just don't see zipper worms. Some lures I do recommend that you can try out for these. Had a Rebel Pop R in a shad color. I prefer to use swim jigs, lighter swim jigs, nothing too big. My True Tungsten, True Life swim bait, if you guys remember those from a little back when they came out, Fish Monroe, and then PT swim baits. Nothing over an ounce I used on this, uh, on this rod and reel combo. It held up just fine, it could cast a mile. Um, I love the feel of it, it's extremely sensitive. I, um, for the fishing area I would do, I would do a lot of top water, not frogs or anything, but I would skim those swim baits across the top. I would use those poppers, put them next to uh, put them next to docks, put them next to trees, uh, put them over top of some laydowns. I knew where those were at. I would go ahead and use those. And especially with that uh, with that fast tip, and there's a little thicker down here, that medium heavy action, you have enough backbone to pull those fish out of those tough areas, but still with that extra fast tip, you do have enough sensitivity and enough flexibility up top to go ahead and give you that cast ability that you're gonna need. Now, some specs, you know, some inside depth. With the Sitica, the 200G5, I'll just read directly off the box so you guys know it's nothing I'm making up. Three shielded stainless steel ball bearings, one stainless steel roller bearing. It has the, uh, the Super Stopper anti reverse. The weight of the reel, 7.6 ounce. Of course, with this, uh, with this reel right here, it does recommend Power Pro. Shimano thing. And for Power Pro, Per label to the yard, you can get 30 pounds per 190, 50 pounds per 120, 65 pounds per 80. But with this reel, with that five, I'm, I'm not going with that heavy braid. Like I said, I'm using a P-Line 4 clear. Go ahead and give you an inside look so you guys can get a look of the reel. Now, if you guys want a great in-depth review of this rod and this reel, you guys can head on over to Team Rippin' Lips. His name's Sonny. He has great reviews on his reels that he does. Go and check him out. Like I said, with this rod, it's a seven foot two rod. Medium heavy action, extra fast tip, 24 ton. Construction inside of that. It recommends a mono for 12 to 20 pound and Power Pro from 20 to 50. So for exactly what I'm doing, that uh, is, is right where I need it for. Like I said, I'm not going in and, and flipping any fish with this rod and reel. I could if I really wanted to, but I'm not going to at all. That's my trying to score that thicker rod. But for this, I love it for, for casting out those smaller jigs, those poppers. 
uh, these Texas rigs. And even when it comes to, um, if you want to say power wacky rig fishing, or something I'll do, I actually use a weighted hook and a big Cinco or a big stick bait, and I'll throw that over those covers, you know, or next to those docks, next to those laydowns, and try to pull something out of there. Like I said, I'm not flipping and pitching at all with this rod. One thing that I do, uh, I do love about this rod and reel combo for it being uh, a cheaper rod and reel, it's light, it's extremely comfortable in my palm, fish just right, this drag is so smooth, this reel is extremely smooth. Talking from the from the first cast, um, I've never backlashed with this at all. You know, I went fishing with it a couple times, but it was it wasn't bad at all. One thing I did do, I noticed um, I so I was using a, a wacky rig on this, and I was using a wacky rig hook. I missed out of ten fish seven. I don't know if that's just me. I don't know if that's the hooks, but every time I would set the hook, I would lose it. So I'm hoping it's just the hooks. So I'm actually gonna go back and try to wacky rig that same area with an extra wide gap hook and see the difference. So you guys will have that video. Now, Via Tackle Warehouse. The description for this rod is real. Excuse me, for the rod itself. Engineer for today's hottest bass fishing techniques, the all new affordable price Shimano Cellus Series casting rod. Featuring an array of Shimano's most popular actions, boasting lightweight and sensitive 24 ton graphite blades. They also come equipped it with durable, low profile aluminum oxide guides for longer casting or reliable performance. If you guys would like to go pick up any of these, I recommend you all head on over, tackle warehouse, go ahead, get you one. You know, it's, it's an awesome uh, rod for that price. For the reel, like I said, I actually picked this up at Academy. Uh, they were on sale. They may still be, I hope they are, because if they are, I'm gonna buy the last three that was in there. So if you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys do, Put a thumbs up. If you don't, you can tell me thumbs down. Please don't subscribe. Get your friends subscribed. Share my video. I'll get more videos soon out to you guys. If you guys want any more reviews, if you guys want me to check out, like I said, go ahead and drop it below. And I got you guys. Enjoy. Tight lines. Have fun.